MasterCard <laughs> is uh, rolling out, or rather it has announced today that it is uh, partnering with Bact to increase its cryptocurrency options for merchants and for consumers. Now, exactly what this uh, partnership will look like going forward is not entirely clear, but that's kind of the point. The big idea is that MasterCard will be using Bact's custodial wallets to help um, businesses and consumers get more into cryptocurrency. And that's a really big development just because of the prevalence of MasterCard in global payments. This is one of the biggest payment companies out there. It is one that years ago you would never would have thought was, would be getting into crypto, but now they're continuing down this path of trying to push cryptocurrency what, uh, to a wider audience. Now, this might not be everyone's using Bitcoin, I think that MasterCard has actually said in the past that they're focused on using uh, focused on cryptocurrencies that don't have a lot of volatility, which probably means stable coins. But this is a, could be a really big step forward in bringing stable coins and other cryptos to a wider market. So, Zach, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one. Yeah, I think this is yeah, I think this is like crypto 2.0, right? So initially crypto 1.0 payments were supposed to happen in native assets of these various blockchains, but crypto 2.0 payments are very much oriented around stable coins. So people on Twitter hyping this as hey, Bitcoin everywhere through MasterCard. I don't really see that as being the case in this instance. Um, certainly notable that MasterCard is continuing its like dalliance in the crypto space. They acquired Cypher Trace to help with compliance and other aspects of making sure they can do payments in a regulated fashion. So to see them uh, rolling this out at this scale uh, through a trusted intermediary and backed in this in this instance, super duper interesting. I think still payments around crypto is is not where the market is right now, right? I think we've seen store of value become the prevailing narrative as opposed to uh, method of exchange. And if there are catalytic moments around making payments more convenient for folks, this could be one of them. But I'd be curious to see if they see much uptick in terms of transacting in crypto on these on these rails, on these credit card rails. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if consumer demand follows this rollout. Um, but I will toss it to you, Naomi, because I saw your hand up. Yeah, there are a couple of things to address when you look at these third parties integrating Bitcoin payments within like traditional financial payment rails. So one of the first things I would look at is, is it custodial? In this case, it is, right? Um, there are options out there like uh, BitPay, for example, they have a non-custodial wallet and every time you want to spend on your card, it's literally an instantaneous purchase. So you're only ever putting money into the system uh, for like a brief moment where it's not in your control. It's not like you're keeping your money in a bank account where it can be seized at any time and controlled by someone else. You always have control of it and you're only incrementally putting money into the system. The other side of things is like what kind of incentive is there for people to spend their crypto, right? Um, in this case, I haven't heard them talk about any sort of like rewards or discounts in using this. Um, you know, when I use crypto every day. I, there are a couple of reasons. One of them is that I want to be supporting the people who are accepting this. I want to be building out the infrastructure. I think that ultimately we are going to be at a point where you know US dollars aren't going to be usable anymore. And so what are we going to use? We're going to be using our crypto. So we want to see people like merchants be setting up the infrastructure for all of this. We want to see those ecosystems get built out. So I want to support the people who are kind of on the forefront of that. Um, but the other reason is that I get killer savings by spending my crypto, like every Amazon purchase, you know, I get like up to 33% off. I use Dash Direct as well. I get like, you know, double digit percentages off, a bit refill. Again, like you can get rewards back if you use Lightning. There are all kinds of rewards programs out there. So when I see a, uh, an offering like this, where it's a custodial card and I don't see any incentive, um, for me, it just seems like an extension of my bank account, which I'm really trying to shy away from using. Like I do love the idea that we're getting more pervasive Bitcoin usage and like it's cool because once you get that kind of circular supply chain and you get people earning it and spending it, like I love seeing all that, but it's probably not a product that I'm going to be using. But um, Danny, I think I saw your hand go up. Yeah, well, well, not not to dunk on you, but I am six two, and uh, the whole the story does talk quite a lot about the loyalty programs that will be involved in this uh, rollout. Now, of course, okay, it doesn't dunk, give dunk specifics, away. but uh, yeah, I, I actually can't jump so well, so uh, well, I won't be dunking too much. <laughs> but um, they, oh, well, what I are heard some that of one. those? Because if 
article I'm looking well, at, so it, the, doesn't go into there, they, it doesn't go into specifics, but I think that the point is that this is the infrastructure and this is going to be the thing that people build, that companies build on top of to pr to provide the different things. This is not say them saying we have this new credit card that gives you know fourteen percent back or something ridiculous like that. This is them saying we're doing this step in partnering with a custodial firm to offer a service that people can use in a way in the future. So what there, are the yeah, incentives, I don't think there are Danny? Specifics. I can't see any in this article. Give me some the, examples. Are, the I'm incentives, I mean the. There isn't there. The thing is, there's no incentive to use any product quite yet. Like this, this doesn't. This, we're not talking yet about a product. That's the we're talking story, about though, isn't it? the back end. I, I feel like that's. I feel like we're missing <laughs> the whole we story. The we got the Pembe finger wags swat on that one. Let's go to let's go to Will, who I think is six four. Will, what's your take? No, uh, Alo Aloli six two. Also, now. Oh, I think what? we're missing the big story here is that Bact has never really had a product, but they somehow finagled their way to go to public. And, you know, that, I think that's the big takeaway here is if you go public, you know, have a product, it's okay. You can, you can waddle along until someone like MasterCard picks you up and then you're, you're good. You're, you can go home. I remember 2018, 2019, everyone was like talking about Bact, Bact, Bact. They're going to bring on the, no, like another Bitcoin bull run. And never happened. Like they've launched and it just sunk. And they had like this rewards program. No one used it. No one cared about it. Volumes were tremendously. You can't blame low. them. They lost their CEO to a really, really successful. <laughs> I'm uh, just saying, the like Senate. The, you know, the big takeaway here is like they made it somehow with this Mastercard thing. Even if that goes nowhere, at least they have a client. So that's all I have to say. I'll leave it there. I, mean, I want to get back to Danny because, like, I like that you are showing um, that they could be some optimism in this. We don't know where this is going. You're right. And we have, don't really have details about what the incentives are. I think once we have that incentive, like perhaps it seems more interesting. I really don't like the custodial nature of it, but you know, that's just my uh, takeaway. But I'll hand it back to you for final thoughts before we go to tease. Well, the day that MasterCard launches a decentralized anything, I will be a highly suspect <laughs> of it. So at, at least they're being <laughs> honest about it.